all your scene viewers. Coffee, hi. Sun's out. Bike. One hour into the day one. Uh, good day, viewers. Day one of a little overnight camping solo trip just to test out the Ural and all the uh, gear I can carry. Recording. Okay, viewers, so we we'll just had our pie and coffee. We don't uh, suffer here on the Greek Rider. We uh, stop every so often and stretch our legs and enjoy the scenery and smell the roses. More update as we get a bit closer to our destination and I'm just enjoying the 80k roads here. I love these 80k roads. Coin of road, the old 80k roads the Ural eats them up. Just cruising along, enjoying the green scenery. Alright, more later when we get a bit closer. There one day. So just heading south still. Had a couple of spots of rain, but no dramas so far. Blue sky above. Burned out forest in places. So just enjoying the ride. Magical day so far. Right on schedule, I guess, as my old mate John used to say. Okay, so got a dirt road track down this way. This will be the first test to see the road conditions and where we're going and how wet it's been. Well, this road's in really good condition. Just got to be careful cars coming the other way on a motorbike. You can always slip through a little gap, but a little bit wider. You've got to be careful car coming the other way. Where are you going to put that sidecar wheel? But so far so good. And the weather is holding out. We'll continue on the dirt, I think, as far as we can. A bit of tar, and then there's some more dirt coming up. There's a bit of water in there. It's a nice spot here. But the road's dry. Usually, if it has been raining a lot, I get my feet wet here, but it looks all right. So things look promising for further ahead. A bit of dust behind me, so it's not that wet here. It must have just been raining out west. Hopefully that's the case. Some of the roads we're going on might be a bit iffy. We'll find out. Uh, this looks good so far. Following the railway line, heading south. I usually come this way on the bike anyway. Oh, road work ahead. So yeah, I always prefer to come down this way, avoid the motorway for a bit. Just breaks the journey heading south up a bit, and that's good. Keep you awake, keep you off the motorway. Uh, it's good we can get this far, we come all this way now without hitting any motorway. All back roads. Nice and easy, relaxing, no traffic. A few cars slowing us down. It's surprising, but not too bad. A, keeping a kookaburra count. I've seen four so far. So the kookaburras are out. Two on a power line, I've just seen two on this track. The puddles there. Well, here I am viewers at the Big Apple, the Jim Watling Walk. A pioneer of Talong, I guess. And uh, it's the, the Big Apple. So here I am at Talong. Okay, prize winning display at the Royal Easter Show in 1918. Recording. Okay, well, unfortunately.
unfortunately, just got to do a little section of boat away to get to where we want to get to. Which is a bit of a bummer. I'm a bit of a hazard on the motorway. I'm chugging along at 90, that's enough. Even uh, cars and trailers are overtaking the truck in the way. Anyway, we're not in any hurry. I'll sit behind this truck. Otherwise, you'll pull out and overtake me, and I'll look like a bit of a goose. Although he's struggling up this hill. Let's go. Go, Euro. Oh, we're overtaking a truck. No doubt he'll catch up to me in a minute. But we're going left and getting off as soon as possible. Well, I told you, <laughs> he caught up to me. Here we go, we're getting off. Here we go. Head towards Mongolia. Okay, so I've taken a detour now. It's nice and green out here. GBS wants me to go one way and I've decided to go this way. It looks more interesting. And you can see the mountains away over there. And the weather's just perfectly, perfect temperature. Oh, well, no water across this road. So that's good. Good side so far. Cockies. So we're still heading south on Lumbly Road, fighting with the GPS about which way we're going to go. And we stuck to this road. I do remember coming this way once before, I think. It's a pretty good road. Yeah, look at that. Getting wet feet. Look, oh, we made it. Oh, that was interesting. Wash the bike off anyway. I've got a bit of water in my shin here. Ah. Might be wet. Anyway, it's worth it for the scenery coming out this way. Seen a few critters, blue tongues on the road, tortoises. Another option is camping up in those mountains over there. Tullingander. I've seen so much water in here before. As you see, normally that's just bone dry. GPS says there's a blue lake there. But uh, normally there's nothing. Lake in name only, usually. Yeah. Cool. So there's a pretty good view out around here. And, uh, doing some low level flying, dodging the puddles. Here's another one. There's been a bit of this. Has been washed out in a few places. But we negotiated them all so far. Yeah, plenty 
of water about, all the dams are full, the ducks are happy. in each other's dust. The road is closed. That's where I intended to go. Oh well. That was going to be interesting. Go back the other way. Oh well, that's a bummer. Well, I wanted, wanted to go that way. It's an interesting road, I think. Anyway, uh, we're not far from the campsite now, so let's push on. Down the mountain we go. Through Majors Creek. Mm -hmm. 